Hey, my name is Matt Smith. I'm with Four Guard Garage Automotive Group, and I'm here today to talk about CVT transmissions versus automatic standard transmissions, and uh, what is the best choice for you. So, let's get this thing started. When it comes down to CVT versus automatic transmissions, it really is up to your personal preference, which you prefer. So when you're a car shopping and you may run across a phrase like continuously variable transmissions or CVT, while you might choose CVT transmissions, a conventional automatic transmission might be the choice for you. Some drivers believe CVT transmissions produce a smoother experience compared to a traditional automatic transmission or manual transmission. But the biggest advantage to that is the more fuel efficient and more of the conventional transmission. And this is why you've seen automakers put them in dozens of models in the past decades. Compare the pros and the cons of the CVT versus automatic type transmissions and make a better choice for your needs. Look, the reality is the reason why the automakers are choosing to put CVT transmissions in is not because of greater fuel economy, but it's because lower production costs at the factory and manufacturing levels. How do manuals versus automatic transmissions work? Okay, so in a manual transmission, you manually change the gear, which adjusts your speed that you're driving at. Depending on the range where your RPM is at, then you decide when to hit the clutch, open it up, manually switch the gear, and then you're good to go. So, with an automatic transmission, is basically doing the same thing, but you work in a lot less because it is selecting where you want to be at. So the manual transmission has between five and six gears, usually four and six gears, and then an independent rear gear. But the automatic transmission's got a drive, neutral, reverse, first gear, second gear for going up or down steep hills. And, uh, and you got to work less to drive that kind of a vehicle. So, and we just step on the gas and it goes in, it selects the gear for you. Automatic, automakers build automatic gearboxes with wide range of gears. Older models have fewer than three gears, while the brand new Ford Mustang has an 11 gear one that's automatic and computer controlled and it's really cool. And the advantage to these engines is that it selects the uh, turning to generate the best turning force torque within the range of the speed that you want to be at. So cars with conventional automatic transmissions have gained popularity over manual transmissions in the last 50 years and, and uh, it makes learning to drive easier and requires less attention by the driver and creates less engine wear and tear. <clears throat> so how does the CVT work? Well, unlike the conventional automatic transmission, continuously variable transmissions don't have any gears. A CVT uses two cone-shaped pulleys. One pulley is connected to the engine, and the other is connected to the rest of the transmission. It delivers power to the wheels by a steel composite belt connected by two pulleys. The pulleys change width depending on how much power the wheel is getting from the engine. As one pulley gets larger, the other one gets smaller. This design enables a CVT-powered car to accelerate with strength and smoothness. So, vehicles using CVT transmissions is largely, in the beginning, Japanese automakers using them well, over domestic cars. Mitsubishi, Subaru, and Nissan were particularly early and eager adopters of CVT transmissions and they featured them the most, if not all of the cars and SUVs, including in the 2019 Nissan Altima and the 2019 Nissan Murano, Toyota and Honda are now adopting these transmissions. Maybe it's telling a little bit why these two car manufacturers didn't start using them until now. Maybe because the technology is improving and getting better. And now they're including them in more and more models, like the CRV, the Civic, the Accord, and not to mention um, the Toyota Tacoma, or not the Tacoma. You know what I'm talking about. The Toyota, um, the Toyota Corolla. <clears throat> Sorry about that. 
and also in the newer versions of a Nissan Rogue, all Mitsubishi models and now select domestic cars are featuring CVTs, including most notably the 2011 Ford Fusion Hybrid. To find out which type of transmission is in a particular type of vehicle, you need to go to the website, you need to read printed materials, you need to look at the window sticker on the new vehicle, and for used vehicles, it's not going to be that easy. You have to do your due diligence and your research on your own, and that means looking up VIN numbers probably. Don't rely on salespeople to know the answers. Variations on CVTs. There's several different types. CVTs are not all the same. One variation is a different, less common CVT style using rollers and discs. Because CVTs don't have any gears, they don't shift, and common times in the automatics will then, uh, it'll shift uh, weird during acceleration. The lack of the shift points can be unnerving for drivers and passengers using used to the behaviors of common automatics. To combat this, many brands have relied that relying on CVTs are programming in shift points, artificial shift points that give drivers the feel of transmission shifting. The 2019 Subaru Ascent is one example. It has five, eight, sorry, preset shift points on the pulley system that makes the engine seem like it's shifting. In fact, it pauses for a moment and then continues to shift again. So what is this is doing is really making the driver feel like it's working like a standard automatic. So it's really what it's also doing is um, making the uh, efficiency of the vehicle worse in order to make the customer feel better. On the other models of CVTs have um, conversations, first gears that normally automatically drive and called the launch gear. So the launch gear will be a standard type gear and it'll go up to 25 miles per hour before the CVT kicks in. The 2019 model year Toyota Corolla hatchback has a setup that has a launch gear and it achieves, and they claim that it achieves a stronger, smoother acceleration from the start. So, what are the pros versus the automatic transmissions for a CVT? A key benefit of CVT is its ability to change its gear ratio continuously as the engine speed changes. This means that there technically is no gears in it, so it's a smooth transition from beginning to peak RPM where you're driving at. So the CVT draws top engine power from the small engine which gives the driver a quicker acceleration than a standard automatic transmission. Because of their greater ability to control the engine speed range, CVTs produce fewer emissions. CVTs are also lighter weight than traditional automatic transmissions and you get better fuel economy, especially in for city driving. As for the driving experience, lots of customers prefer CVTs because of a smooth, shift compared to a normal automatic transmission. They like that they notice that the RPMs, the engine speed changes only when the car is cruising or accelerating. But cons of CVTs versus automatic transmissions. Some drivers miss the engine shifts and acceleration of the traditional automatic transmission experience. There is no sound or sense of running through the gears as with the conventional automatic transmission. Although the engine maintains its high speed, you only hear the humming and droning sound from the engine and the transmission itself. Because the CVT may keep the engine running at a higher RPM with the automatics than an automatic, you would have to shift into a higher gear. The CVD equipment vehicle can make it seem like the engine is droning or it's under a hard acceleration. Servicing CVTs is different from servicing automatic transmission. Lots of um, places aren't set up to service CVT transmissions and it can be more costly to work on CVT transmissions. Some CVT transmissions are built so that they're non-serviceable and have to be replaced 100%. So this actually could be an advantage if you're operating under a warranty on a newer vehicle. 
So common things that go wrong with CVTs are they've been known to slip. They've been known to have sloppy acceleration, like the like um, as if it's noticeable that it's being driven by a belt. There's also they've been known to shudder. They've been known to just unexpectedly stop and stop working. And they are more expensive to do. They are also prone to jerking, overheat and overheating and total failure. And they're supposedly uh, known to be unreliable. But what mechanical thing isn't totally is totally reliable? That's questionable. So choosing between CVD transmission and automatic is really a choice of personal taste. If you like that smooth transition and you don't like the feel of a, the jerk of the um, regular standard transmission, then maybe CVT is for you. And also, if you like this and you want to join up, uh, you can hit the like button. You can subscribe to my channel. I'm in the process of trying to get monetized right now, so I need as much as I can get. So have a great day and um, drive safely out there. Thank you. Bye.